In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. With you. Welcome to this um, service of Holy Communion with prayer for healing. Welcome to those who are in our chapel and also to those who are watching online on YouTube. And it's very good to welcome quite a few new people into our chapel today, including some visitors from Tasmania. So a very warm welcome to you. This is a short service in which we hear God's word, we share Holy Communion, and we pray to God for our wholeness, our healing, for his help in our lives, and for all those for whom we want to pray and who are on our hearts today. And today, the church remembers St John Chrysostom, who was a teacher of the faith. Dear brothers and sisters, we meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. Amen. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known, and through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. And so a moment of quiet as we bring to God all that is on our heart today. We say together, God of mercy, Lord of life, you are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Embrace us with your love, heal the memories of hurt and failure, bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness make us whole. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent. Have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of truth and love, who gave your servant, John Chrysostom, eloquence to declare your righteousness in the great congregation and courage to bear reproach for the honour of your name. Mercifully grant to those who minister your word such excellence in preaching that all people may share with them in the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And amen. Amen. We sit for the reading. reading is from the prophecy of Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, ah, oh, Lord God, truly, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The response for the psalm is, I will sing of your mercy and justice, O God. I will, I will sing of your mercy and justice, and justice O God. God. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will sing of your justice and mercy, O God. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. I will sing of your mercy and justice, O God. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me, and only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. I will sing of your mercy and justice, O God. The Lord be with you. And will also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory Lord to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. For that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you, and all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Have you got it all together? Is everything going the way that you want it to? Do you feel completely in control of everything in your life? With your appearance, your diet, your job, your family, your bank balance, your health, your prayer life, perfect, in every single way? Well, if the answer is no to any of those questions, you're in the right place today. Because the Christian church is not a place for the self-satisfied. It's not a venue for the spiritually elite. It is a hospital for those who sense their need of God. And it's a place of paradox. When Jesus began to teach his friends, he started with a set of paradoxes that we heard this morning. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. What a paradox. How can the poor, the hungry, and the weeping be blessed? The ideal society might suggest is not to have any unmet need, to be perfectly convinced of one's own value, to avoid any pain or distress, and to be sure that we are right in all our opinions and our decisions. But in fact, it was people like that that Jesus most challenged during his life on earth. It was with the people who didn't have it all together that he chose to be with. Those on the edge, the needy, the disrespected, 
those who are trying to work things out, having made a mess of their lives, those who are in pain and in need of healing. Perhaps a prime example of that was St Paul, murderer, hardline Pharisee, whose life was transformed by his experience of being vulnerable, transformed into a person who then went on to change the world for good. When I am weak, St Paul said, then I'm strong. Not having it all together helps us to be open, to question the values of society, to see that in our hunger, our vulnerability, our uncertainty, we actually find wisdom. We find compassion for others. We find humility. And we find authenticity. We find the servant king, Jesus, who washes our dirty feet and who dries our tears. We discover that sometimes the difficult experiences of life teach us most profoundly. As the writer Khalil Gibran put it, the same well from which your laughter rises was oftentimes filled with tears the deeper that sorrow carves into your being, the more joy you can contain. Is not the cup that holds your wine, the very cup that was burned in the potter's oven? And is not the lute that soothed your spirit, the very wood that was hollowed out with knives? And so as we come to Jesus together in this service, we bring to him all the things that we don't have sorted out. We bring the paradoxes that we live with, the things we don't understand, the contradictions in our lives. Be blessed, says Jesus. Be blessed in all the mess and be a blessing to others. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord, as you bless us, we pray that through our work and service and ministry, we may be a blessing to others. We pray that we may serve as you served, not counting the cost, but giving so that others might live. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you this church thank you for our St Marylebone girls school and all the girls out and about this lunch hour we pray for their learning we pray for their teachers and we thank you that the girls are able to experience the Christian faith within these walls thank you too for Angara Anglican Primary School and the Good Shepherd Secondary School, also for the Ingara Christian Theological College. We pray for all people who have started colleges of education, universities and schools this autumn and we give thanks for the institutions which support their learning. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. 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 Lord, we give you thanks for this service of healing and wholeness. And we thank you for uh, the counselling centre. We thank you for the GP surgery, all the medical institutions of our parish. We thank you that you work 
through all the people in these places to bring healing and wholeness to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Yeah. Gracious God, we bring before you the needs of the world. We pray for the things we heard this morning about Libya and many floods. And we pray too for the people of Morocco in the earthquake and for the many people who have died. We pray for Ukraine and her neighbours and we pray for peace in that area between Ukraine and Russia. We bring before you the people of the Sudan, the people of Yemen, countries of Africa. We pray for all those who are persecuted for their faith pray that they may find safety, that they may find a safe place to worship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring before you, Lord, the effects of climate change with these floods, with wildfires earlier in the summer, with hurricanes in strange places at strange times in America and other places all experiencing extreme heat, drought, flood and famine. Lord, in your mercy. In London we bring before you all those who are homeless, those who are migrants and displaced peoples, but also those who are subjected to modern day slavery. Lord, in your mercy. We bring before you, Lord, all those who are sick and suffering. We pray for Caroline and Peter, for Margaret, for Regina, for Michelle, Barbara, George, Hannah, for Kit and Linda, John, Fiona, Helen, Carrie and Dominic. Also praying for Charmaine, Nicola, Marlette, Yvette, Anne, Caroline, Liz, Cicely, Mary, Diana, Carol, Susan and Claire, and any who are on our hearts today. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, yeah. our prayer. And we pray for those who have died recently, including Alton Clayden, Mary Itua, Colin Woodward, Tobias Hill, Phil Daggett, Linda Luxon and those whose anniversary of death occurs this week. Winifred Roberts, Peter Cannings, known as Sid, or Sid Watkins, Helen Gurling, Ronald Pollock, Amide Turner, Basil Olivier, Elizabeth Randolph. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let my Lord upon them. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for your blessings and we bring before you our own thanks and praises and petitions. Merciful Father, I have said these prayers. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Will you stand for the peace? God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord will be always with you. And also with you. We share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right to give thanks, thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things. We were sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine, may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of St. John Chrysostom, the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. You give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we forgive us our trespasses, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. 
have of God. We take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, but only to say the word of God shall be healed. spiritual communion for those who are watching online. The loving God in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries gathered to make you Christ. I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I'm exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptised and with your Son who gave his life for us, Jesus Christ. God of truth, whose wisdom set her table and invited us to eat the bread and drink the wine of the kingdom. Help us to lay aside all foolishness and to live and walk in the way of insight. That we may come with your servant John Chrysostom and all the saints to the eternal feast of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for the forgiveness of the Lord and the Lord of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to live and to work to your praise and your glory. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 For wholeness and healing. And this can be for yourself or on behalf of somebody else. You're welcome to mention the name of somebody as we come round. If you would like to receive prayer um, and able to stand, then if you could stand and we'll know that that's what you would like, um, or otherwise just indicate if you need to sit that you would like the prayer, otherwise we'll pass by.
So we begin by praying for those who are watching online. Come, Holy Spirit. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. Sing together. God of all compassion, by the dying and rising of Christ, you restore us to yourself and enfold us in your love. May we who have been refreshed with the bread of life and the cup of salvation be renewed by your healing spirit and made ready for the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. God, our Father, by whom we are called to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden, give us faith to go out always with good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit 
we are made strong and that your love will never fail us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God.